Ever since the creation of YouTube, its developers have been changing the layout of how it organizes content and how the algorithms of how videos show up on users' feeds. Subscribing to YouTube video creators' channels meant that their content would show up first on the feed when you logged into YouTube. Lately, especially with Google's purchase of YouTube in 2006, Today, Google bought YouTube for $1.65 billion. The developers have been changing the algorithms of the feed that users see in order to favor YouTube as a corporation rather than the creators themselves. Some top YouTube creators like PewDiePie, Jacksepticeye, H3H3 Productions, Game Theory, and Markiplier, among many, many others, have expressed their frustration with the algorithm changes publicly. They have brought up issues from people losing subscribers randomly in large quantities, to the trending tab being completely falsified. According to Matthew Patrick, a theorist who recently uploaded a video about this subject, YouTube is favoring creators that are uploading videos more frequently and that are longer in length. This sort of issue is what figuratively killed animators on YouTube years ago. Ross O'Donovan, an animator who grew popularity through YouTube, is now streaming his animation progress on an alternative platform, Twitch.tv. Explains the issue animators have with YouTube. Since 2011, the structure of what YouTube's algorithm considers premium content has changed drastically. The cold calculating backend to YouTube now mainly looks for two things, minutes watched and frequency of uploads. A piece of high quality animation could take one person from about two to five months to produce. Frequent uploads for an independent animation channel are incredibly unreasonable, though they still don't meet the second requirement. This is kind of what kills it, guys. Uh, minutes watched. It's unreasonable and entirely unattainable for these channels. Essentially, he's stating that animation takes a long time to create. Because of this, it's impossible for animators to keep up with the standards that YouTube has of minutes watched and frequency of uploads. Additionally, YouTube appears to be favoring new content. No longer can you find a lot of older videos on your feed. New videos with more minutes are earning creators higher profits. No longer can creators rely on their previously uploaded videos to turn a profit. YouTube simply isn't promoting that kind of content anymore. YouTube has made some questionable changes over the last 10 years. Creators, in order to be successful, no longer have free reign over the format of their content. Successful YouTube channels upload longer videos more frequently. The developers of YouTube favor the success of the website over the success of the creators that make the website what it is.